Hey, welcome everyone into the Wells Tech Garage for this week's episode of CounterPoint. I am joined here by Jeremy. Thanks for being here, Jeremy. No problem. No it's good problem. to have you back. It's good to be back. Good. So today we are going to be talking about a couple sensors and um, in particular some calls that you guys get upstairs pretty right. often, right? Right. Uh, this SU12940, it's a crank sensor for a later later model Nissan. Okay, 2.5 liter. 2.5 liter, okay. correct. And, and this even pertains to not necessarily this part number, but the same scenario to some 2 liter applications. Okay, sure, Nissan. sure. This is an automatic transmission speed sensor. Okay. Um, what we will get calls on, a customer will walk into a store, buy the sure. crankshaft sensor, they go to put it in, it doesn't fit. Oh, if okay. you crawl underneath that vehicle, you're going to see that these two are very close in proximity. Um, one's obviously in the transmission, one's in the engine. Uh, for a technician that's working on a vehicle up, every up day, on the hoist. up on a hoist, sure. right underneath there, they can see that. But a guy that's, you know, on his, you know, in his garage on his back, looking up at it, you know, he's he's looking for a part that looks similar to this. Maybe poor lighting under there. Sometimes, yeah. Yep. Sometimes the first thing they see is the automatic transmission speed sensor. Well, so, and just by a quick look, I mean, they both have a single bolt holding them in. They both have three wires going to them. Right. Very similar. The connector's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. It's angled differently. It's, it's enough to make them look at it and say, hey, I don't have the right part here. Okay, so then they call and say, what the heck's going on? I'm trying right. to put in my crank sensor. And it's, it's physically, it, you know, it doesn't fit, and it's, uh, you know, it just doesn't work for them. Sure, and the connectors will not plug in. You cannot plug right. the crank sensor connector into the transmission speed sensor and vice versa. They have different... Uh, as you can see here in this picture, they have different um, tabs aligning the connector to the part. Right. So a lot of times what I'll do is we'll look up the automatic transmission speed sensor and say, take a look at this. They'll look okay. at it and say, oh, yeah, that's what I need. Well, then you need to explain to them, hey, this isn't, this, that's not the crank sensor. Okay. So, so just a little bit of confusion on location and exactly. the, the part that they're pulling out of the, out of the vehicle. Exactly. So, and that's kind of unique, not only to Nissan, but other vehicles too, that the crank sensor isn't on the end by the crank pulley. Um, Dodge did this for a long time on the, the Jeeps and the Dodge trucks and that kind of thing, where the crank sensor is back near the transmission. So we've seen that on other vehicles. Just so happens that Nissan puts these two sensors very, very close, close together. So we gotta just make sure we're pulling out the right sensor when we're doing these. A little bit of extra lighting under there. And just knowing now that our transmission sensor has a 90 degree connector, and the uh, crank sensor here is a, a straight connector with the, yeah. the line of the and sensor. And that's for this particular model. Mm -hmm. You're going to find somewhere, you know, Nissan's notorious for having, you know, sensors that'll look almost identical, sure. but one will have a 90, one will be straight, and then, you know, the next year it may be vice versa. So. <laughs> well, that's what the manufacturers always do to us, right? They're exactly. always changing things up, making it interesting. Exactly. You had some, yeah. some interesting uh, other Yeah, I found information. this information a little bit interesting. So. As many of us know who have worked on Nissans before, they have had their share of issues with cam sensors and crank sensors through the years. Crank sensor problems on these, you know, you're going to get potentially a P0335 code for a crank sensor problem. But what I found interesting was typically on a Nissan, when you set a 335, you will also set a P0725 in the automatic transmission. So could this scenario also play out where somebody pulls codes and they get an automatic transmission code and it says engine speed signal circuit malfunction inside the automatic transmission. Are they maybe thinking that they should be putting an automatic transmission speed sensor in there? Maybe they misread it, maybe they were reading it quickly where they saw engine speed and they just saw it as speed signal instead of engine speed. Basically the 725 code is saying that there is no crank signal input. There's no way for the transmission to know what speed the engine is going. So the the transmission control module would talk to the engine control module and pull that information from the crank sensor. So even though we have a code in the automatic transmission for a speed signal, it's actually generated from the crankshaft okay. position. So sensor. that could even add to the confusion. Right, exactly. And that's that's where service information is super important and making sure you understand the codes that you're pulling. Um, potentially you might not get this 725 code if you're just using a generic scan tool depending on, you know, if you're able to get into the transmission control module or not. But I think that's good to know and that, that could um, bring up, bring up, definitely bring up confusion Absolutely. when relating to these two sensors. Absolutely. So, um, as always, if you have any questions mm -hmm. in regards to cataloging or tech, 1-800-500-1111. Um, 
five five eight nine seven seven zero, and then uh, prompt one will get you into tech, and prompt two will get you into cataloging. So we're always here if you need any help in regards to that. Exactly, but, and if you're if you're still concerned or confused about making sure you get the right sensor, you know we could help you with uh, looking up looking at the wire colors. You know we can pull wire coloring. You know maybe this sensor has has three wire colors on your specific model. You know we can help you find your sensor. Besides just looking at the location or sending you a picture, we can always go one step further. So, you know, look for the sensor that's got a, for example, red, green, and, and black wire going to it, okay? Well, that, right. that would help point you in that direction. So, we have a lot of ways that we can help um, besides just doing these videos, you know, with the 1 800 number. And uh, yeah. So, right. is that, that about it for I them? think that's about it, yeah. All right, well, that's going to be it for today, guys. Make sure to check us out on social media Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. Instagram and YouTube. Our next uh, live broadcast will be June 1st. I hope to see you guys there. And uh, until next time, Jeremy. All right. All right, my name is Jeremy in the catalog department. And I'm Mike, and we'll see you guys again next time. Thank you.